<clears throat> look, man. I'm fired up right now. I might not look like it, but I'm just seconds ago I'm pacing around the living room, just beating my chest. What my finger in the sky? Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. We got the win. We got the win. As always. Why? Because we're focused. We're not stupid. We don't make stupid decisions. We have confidence in who we are. We have confidence in the things that we're doing. And we ain't gonna we ain't gonna let up for nothing. We're steamrolling through the gates a hundred mile an hour. And nothing is going to stop us. The devil himself cannot come our way to send us anything to seduce us. He might have had some success in the past. Today, he fails. Today, he fails. And he fails. And he fails. You can send anything my way. You're going to fail because I'm staying in my lane. I ain't going to sell out. You're not going to send me some Jezebel spirit of a bitch to seduce me. You're not going to send some pretty lady my way to take me up, to drop me down on my head. Which is what happened in the past. It's not going to happen. Because I've seen the tricks of the devil. I've seen it. And as long as I remain stoic, it's a wrap. Because these chicks can't handle the stow of me. It's too much. Because as long as I am who I am, they have to act right. Because if they don't, they're going to get called out real quick. They have no choice. So they stay scared. They stay away from me. Good. Because all they're about is the fun. Is the fun. Is the fun. And their fun involves screwing you over. They don't know what the F they're doing, bro. And I'm not saying all women do this. But I'm just trying to explain to you guys some of the tests that come. And the person I am today, I'm too solid for these things to happen again. I've made my mistakes by allowing things like this to happen. But there comes a time where you understand life. You start to gain so much confidence. You start to see everything for what it is. That's when you beat your chest. Oh yeah. We're getting the win. Ain't nothing tricking us. We were winners since birth and we're winning right now and we're gonna win big in the end. And ain't no motherfucker gonna come and take us off our path. Same with all you guys. There's nothing that's gonna come in your path anymore to take you out. You have to be the one that stays stoic, confident at all times, no matter what's going on. You know the truth. The truth is a superpower. If you live by the truth, you will be good. <clears throat> because when it comes to the devil himself, he's going to send so many tests your way to try to mess you up. For real. He's going to test you on your path. Oh, you, you get a little bit of success here, a little bit of success there. He's going to test you in those times to see if you will sell out. You never sell out. You stay true to yourself. Life is a constantly evolving thing. It's an ongoing thing. Day after day after day. You can't start to shift your mindset to the point where it's like, oh, I'm made. Never think this way. Ever. I don't care if you have the baddest female and she's behaving. And it seems like life is all so good. Never get complacent. Never. Majority of these females out here are bullshit. Majority of them are. 
there's always going to be the good ones out there as well. Which is why you stay calm, you stay cool, you stay patient. You don't let some runner-up just come to make you vulnerable. Which is what she's trying to do so you can give her power. You can make her more confident, you can make her feel relaxed. I don't think so. I'm going to be who I'm going to be. If you can't handle that, you definitely can't handle to be with a person like me to begin with. Because you're going to see it day after day after day, my confidence, and you not being able to do anything to me or to, to, to manipulate me to do something that is not in my best interest. Never going to see that happen. That's why they're scared. They're not scared because of other reasons. They're scared because of this. My solidness. I'm solid. You're not going to get me to stoop down to your low life level. Never. Did it too many times. Bad things happened to me. Every single damn time I did this. Every single time that I've done this, bad things has happened to me. Because females love to do this to other dudes. They love to do this. It's the damn devil every single time. What do they do? They bring you up. They make you feel happy. They make you feel some type of way temporarily. And then you're dropped on your head. Because they don't know what the F they're doing. That's why you stay solid. And if you stay solid, let me tell you something. You're going to miss out on a lot of things. But that's good. Because you're missing out on these little things. <clears throat> to get the much greater things that you actually deserve. I had to mess up that many times. In order to know. Nah. -uh. I deserve way better than this. I deserve way more than this. Way more. It's not even close. So what do you do? You temporarily you turn things down. You reject some things. You do what you do to get the greater things in life. What you actually deserve. That's not from the devil, it's from God. Not from the devil. <clears throat> I got beat many times by this M effort. But I'll tell you what, at this point right now where we sit, I have defeated him much more than I've ever lost, is what I come to realize now a lot more to this point because there was many there's many things thrown at me 24 7 all the time and I've hit my stride to the point where I'm I'm getting wins out of these situations now you're not going to win over me I'm going to win you're not the winner I'm the winner this is how it is I'm not putting myself in losing situations I'm not going to act a certain way to make your dumb ass comfortable so you, can, so you can be around me. If you can't handle the realness, you can't handle shit. Go to some other dumb ass and ruin his life. Because it's not happening with me. Because you can't manipulate me. Because you're the devil. And I don't trust you from a hole in the wall. There's a high percentage of people in this world that I do not trust. Simply because people don't know what the fuck they're doing. They don't. They ain't got a grip on life and what it really is. It's just this clown world. But I ain't playing games, dog. You got real life goals. You got real life shit going on. And I ain't finna lose. I ain't finna take these losses. I'll pass your ass up to win big. Because you're not big enough for me. And you never will be, and you know that. It's all a game to them. It's all a damn game. Females wonder why some guys play the game. Why guys do this, why guys do that.
the truth is they're looking to wreak havoc on these females because they know what they're up to. If you get played her, it's because this guy has gotten the worst of the worst done to him. But you know what I do? I can do that. I can retaliate. I'm, I'm not going to stoop down to that low life level. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to really win. And then it's going to be rubbed in your face, whether you like it or not. It's going to be rubbed in your face, and you're going to know how it tastes. Is what's going to happen. It's exactly what's going to happen. And you're going to hate every second of it. Just like I hated every second of what the F you did to me. You know, that's why they say, ladies and gentlemen, success is the best revenge. There's nothing like it in the world. Success is the best revenge. And don't even worry, guys. Don't even worry. <laughs> because as long as you're making the right decisions for yourself 24-7, you're going to be good. God is with you. Doesn't matter what kind of stunt the devil tries to pull on you, bro. You'll be good. It's just funny to me, all the clowns in this world today, not growing up, just staying who they are. Not doing the harder things in life to actually pull forward. Instead, they play the game. And it's the game of the devil. You want to go party? You want to go rave? Hey, 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 hey! Some powwow or some shit like this? You want to go rave? Because that's from the devil. You're going to feel it that night. You go raving, you go partying. Some big ass concert. Oh, yeah. You're going to be up here at that time. You're going to feel like a winner. You're going to feel like you're winning. You're going to feel like you're doing something. You might be getting with some girls. If you're a girl, you might be getting some guys. Stuff like this. You might feel real good. A shot here, a shot there. You're just letting loose. Afro Jack, David Guetta, just blaring. Alessio, whatever. They got you up here. But the next day, you come down here. Rock bottom. Because it's a normal, plain old day. And that night's almost got you traumatized. You're still hearing the music in your head. Things are wild. But the day's so plain and bland and blah. That's because you brought yourself up way too high. Now the next week is going to be just bland. You're going to feel like shit because you drank too much. Things like this. And nobody at these places give a damn about you. You're not going to meet family there. You're going to meet these other devils. It's what it is. It's dark energy. It's not good. Just talking about it makes you feel that darkness. I can feel it right now. Because I know what it's like. Because I've been there. I've partied in high school. I've been at parties. It's dark. It's not real. People there are not genuine. It's all for show. It's all a bunch of BS. <clears throat> it's no good. It's not the answer. It's just these little short-lived, short-term little feelings of nothing. Because nothing comes out of it. It's just going to make you feel worse when it's all said and done, when you, when you go and you do things like that. <clears throat> and it's very similar to like... How, how a person of the opposite gender from you saying male or female will take you up so high and then drop you down 
the party, the raves. It's, a, it's the exact same thing. It's all from the devil. Do you see the correlation here? It's all these things that I feel so damn good at the moment. Let's be honest. I get with this bad bitch or some shit like this. Blonde, pretty face, nice eyes, nice body, nice everything. It's just like, wow. Awesome looking girl. Seems great in the moment. And she makes you feel so damn good. It's almost like it's not even from life. It's just from some damn fairy tale or some shit like this. It's because it is from some fucking fairy tale, bro. Because that's not who she is 24-7. She's doing this because it's manipulation. Do you not think I've learned? Of course I've learned. They want to make you feel that way. They want to do those things to you. And they're not good people. They want to bring you up so damn high. Make you feel like a rock star. I felt that. And it's not where the F. Because you're going to be in for the darkest, the darkest days of your life. Overcoming that shit. Because you start to grow closer to this chick. You start to grow, grow closer to this guy if you're a girl. And it's, it's, it's a very dark experience when you go through that and you realize this was all a game. This was all a joke the entire time. Nothing ever came out of this. Nothing good came out of it. I just feel, I don't know how I feel at this point. And that's what you tell yourself in that moment. It's just, it's crazy, man. It's not worth it. It's, it's just... What you should do is not deal with these people. There's many opportunities to do it all the time. And it's just not worth it. You really got to get the ideal situation for yourself. And know it's an ideal situation. Not something from the devil. In order for something to work. That's why you got to focus on yourself. Focus on getting the bigger wins in life. And don't let every damn thing that comes your way just completely, like, manipulate you. Because any good thing, how I used to be, some pretty girl comes around me, she, she starts looking at me a certain way with those big, beautiful eyes and that big smile, and it's just like, it lifts you off your feet. It's like, damn. That's what you're thinking in your head, and you just go with it. It's like, they just, like, hypnotize you into just doing whatever they, they want. And I stopped letting things like this happen. I stopped. Because they're fake as shit. And I ain't about that life. I want real shit in my life. I'm looking to get the bigger wins. I ain't looking for these short lived little moments. That's going to make you feel so good and then make you feel like shit. It's not worth it. That's what I came to realize. That's what I'm trying to explain to you. And I like, <laughs> this isn't a gender thing. This is me speaking from experience. Some women comment, oh, guys do this too. Literally shut the fuck up. Of course. But this is me speaking from experience. I see that so many times. I, I talk about some of the experience, hella women triggered. Hella women triggered. Then you go talk about something that's happened to you. Don't come here to try to like stir something up because what I'm saying is true. It's like they're so triggered because some guy did something to them that I can't even speak on a female doing something wrong ever because then they're triggered because it's their gender. That's how dumb you are, you dumbass. Like literally, that's how stupid you are. Of course. Of course, both genders can, can, can do whatever they're going to do. Of course. But don't be a dumbass. This is from experience. And like I said, guys, I ain't about those short-lived little wins. I ain't looking for that. It's not what I'm looking for. And I know it when I see it now. Because <clears throat> I know what it's all about. And you're not going to trick me with that shit ever again. Sometimes it happens. I don't mean being tricked, but these situations present itself to me. 
I ain't about that. I just keep, I, I'm just keep being myself. I'm not going to come out of my zone to go into your world where you want me to go. It's not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. Because I don't want it to happen. I'm not going to go forward and proceed with this transaction. You're not going to see me there at my debit card. I don't think so, bitch. I don't think so. You look that bitch dead in the eye, bro, and you say, you coming to my world. You coming to my world. what you do you take that bitch in your world bro I just ain't I just I just ain't finna get played dog I just ain't finna get played it's not gonna happen all these insecure chicks too they feel the need to do that they feel the need to play hard to get they feel you know they could really like you like I mentioned last night in a, in a short clip video they could really like you but they're gonna play hard to get. Send them into outer space. Not dealing with that. We're not dealing with nothing sus. That's the best advice I can give you guys and girls right now. We're not dealing with anything sus. Because if it's really from God, it's going to be really sure of itself. Anything less is unacceptable. I'm not going to go into your clown world. You're going to have to come into the real world, into the real shit, into my OG life. That's how it's going to go. I'm not following your lead. You're not built to follow. You're built to sit down, shut up, and do what you're told. You're built to be trained by me. I will train you like a dog. If need be. And I'm joking. Not gonna train no bitch. You gotta come already made. But you guys get the point. The hell was I thinking, bro, in the past? The hell was I thinking? Naive, to say the least. We all gotta live. We all gotta learn. I learned. These chicks will forever live their life doing this type of shit to a bunch of different people. And that's how they go about their life. Because they love doing it. They love being in control. They love to lead themselves to the fiery pits of hell because they have no direction. They're going to wake up someday from this fairy tale world and realize how bad they effed up it's already happened to me them towards me I mean they had a little awakening you really screwed shit up with me I told you that was going to happen you didn't listen I told you but you had to screw around one too many times and now you gotta pay the piper. You can go back to Pound Town and do whatever the F you wanna do because <clears throat> your time with me has expired. Expired. And this is what it takes to win. You live and you learn. 
The more you learn, the quicker you can win. The less you learn, the less likely it is that you win. This is life. All I ever needed to hear was the truth. Because I feel I was born to win. All I needed to do was to be led the right way. Couldn't even get that. I had to lead myself to dance. I had to lead my own life the right way. I had no guidance. I had nobody tell me anything significant or important. I had to find the information myself. I had to, I had to experience life myself to get to the level that, I, that I'm at today. And that's what it comes down to. You see, there's too much going on. People just... People's perception of life, bro, is so twisted. It's so twisted. If I could just... Like, you just want... There's, there's times where you just want to, like, save everybody. But you can't convince these idiots of nothing, man. They're all going to look back on life and be like, Oh, I should have done this. Should have done this. Should have done this. Should have done this. Yeah, you should have done this. I try to tell you that. But no, couldn't listen to me. Couldn't listen to the real leader. The o, the real OG leader. Mr. Terry Joel Jr. Couldn't listen. Head's way too big. Now look at you. You've amounted to nothing but the streets. You belong in Miami. So. Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. My only intentions in life was just for things to go my way. Because I have pictures in my head of, of life and goals and, and, and visions and, and things happening. It's like playing that Rubik's Cube. You just you just play until you win. You, you make it your way. It's like that. It's, it's just like that with me. I mean, I, I ain't accepting anything less. It's how it's going to go. You get one life, guys. We get one damn life. If this video is not motivating you, nothing in the world ever will. We touched up on a lot here. We made some jokes in between. But we touched up on a lot of information here. We don't do what the devil does. We don't do what the devil tells us to do. We do not get seduced by the devil. We stay who we are. We stay solid. If they don't want to be a part of it, then they can miss out because they're going to cry their little asses off someday. Because they made the wrong decision. Oh my god. Oh, I should have went with you. I should have went with you. Exactly. I tried to tell you that. But you didn't listen. And you really messed it up. Awesome. Now you have to live a low piss ass quality life. While me and the gang ride off into the sunset. You see, this is the disturbing thing of life. So many people are doing it wrong. They don't even know they're doing it wrong. And it's like you just want to tell them. But then they don't listen. And it's okay. <clears throat> you can't save everybody. We all know that term. You can't. You can't. Very, very, very few people is going to want to listen to you. And the awesome thing is, all you guys on this channel that watch these videos, you guys listen to what I say. You guys are ahead of freaking 90 some percentage of the people in the world. Because not, not barely anyone wants to listen. Because they're living their life. They think, oh yeah, we know what we're doing. They still haven't learned. They're still aroused by the devil. Devil is shit all the time. They don't get it. Life ain't to be played with, guys. Do you think our parents, our grandparents, were, were living the way these young, rec reckless kids are doing it today? Reckless abandons. They don't know what that F is going on. They're losing brain cells by the day. Drinking too much, partying too much. They're not loyal to nobody. No one's loyal to them. It's a mess. Family and loyalty and, and all these things is huge. Loyalty is big to me. It's important. Disloyal people to me, 